<laughs> Guys, welcome to the Tri Sentence Podcast. I'm your host, Aves. Hi, I'm have, Kareem. I, what, what? And and of course we have Sarosh. <laughs> what what? Check us out on YouTube. Uh, at the channel Project Pandemonium, where you are probably watching this episode. Guys, it's my topic this time. And I want to talk about, of course, Batman. I want to talk about him like all the oh, yeah. time. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what the topic was. My yes, mind. yes, exactly. I was going to say, guys, now, Batman became the person that he is because of a lot of reasons. You know, his training, his parents dying, and of course, the last and the most important thing, the, the only man who raised him, that was Alfred. Mm-hmm. Alfred Pennyworth. Okay, now, my topic was that if if there... If he was raised by someone else, how would that affect him? And if you had a choice to, you know, pick who would raise a young Bruce Wayne into a Batman, who would you choose? Oh, I didn't know we were going to go that far. So uh, yeah, your, your, your question is twofold. Is one, we're talking about the yeah. impact that Alfred Part had a, yeah. on Bruce's upbringing, which is crucial. Yeah. Um, and second is how could that upbringing have been altered? Had if Alfred was different. Are we yes. choosing someone from the universe? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, wait, what? Yes, I choose a Teletubby from... No, you I know? mean like in the Batman universe. <laughs> oh, or no. It, it, anyone it, you want. Be, oh, so uh, Teletubbies are on the table. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. I mean like anyone from the DC universe. Oh. Or, okay. yeah. Or, you know... Well, first, let's about... just talk about Alfred for a moment. That'll get us okay, sure. Yeah. So... Uh, Alfred through the years has been amazing. Yeah. So, right? the, there's uh, like... Before we talk about it... I do want to say there's different variations of yeah. Alfreds throughout. Like in uh, in the in the new Fifty Two Batman, Year One, he was in the military. Military doctor. Yeah, he was like a military doctor. He was a good friend of Thomas Wayne, and he wasn't really a butler, but he became one after you know he was listed as uh, Bruce's godfather. So that's why I made him. In the other comics, he was a Huddler, and he he was with the family for generations. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, so like yeah, and, and like that's the most his, basic one. And Alfred's own ancestors were also butlers, yes, the yes, other Pennyworths. Yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, oh, cool. So now you can start. Okay. So um, I have a really cool picture on my Instagram of Alfred headbutting Superman and yeah. dissing Superman. So yeah, one of which the, is from you're gonna try to look for it. Yeah, yeah, That's fine. Yeah. Injustice um, is from yeah. Injustice. Comics. So Al- Alfred's a really cool character. I really love Alfred. I love all his portrayals, straight from you know the '60s Adam West series to his voice acting in the Batman animated series to Michael Caine in the Dark Knight trilogy. It's fantastic. Jeremy Alfred Irons. Jeremy Irons. Yeah, we haven't mm-hmm. seen too much of him yet. Yeah, but Alfred is the bedrock. Mm-hmm. You know, Alfred really is Bruce's father figure. Bruce's doctor, Bruce's friend. Mm. Like he, he picks Bruce up every time he falls, and he not just physically but emotionally. Yeah, and they disagree in a lot. Yeah, because you know sometimes friends have to disagree to really mm. move forward. Mm-hmm. So I, I really admired Bruce uh, Alfred's role yeah. in shaping him. You sent me a clip of Alfred. Sorry, maybe it was PJ at work. Mm. Work of Alfred on Gotham. Uh, you guys watching Gotham? No. no, no, me neither. But he was trying to convince me to watch it, so he sent me this awesome clip yeah. of Bruce yeah. and Alfred sh- sh- at odds. Yeah, you want me to spoil it? Can I talk to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, sure. It's an amazing scene. Bruce kills Alfred. Yeah, in Gotham, he stabs him in the heart with a sword because Ra's al Ghul is like, "Yo, Bruce, you got to get ruthless. You want to join the League of Shadows? You got to kill your boy. You got to swear your allegiance." It's an That's amazing in scene. Gotham? Now I mentioned Ra's al Ghul. Right behind him. Is a Lazarus pit. So you sprinkle a little bit of water. Alfred comes back. He's just fine. But it is such an emotional scene. And yeah, Gotham. It's a little kids show. So it just shows how integral Alfred is, right? Now yeah. back to your question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If uh, sorry, I might, I might have interrupted you a little earlier. No, no, no I was. You can jump right in. You know what? Sure, uh, you, you go. Uh, uh, I was, no, okay. no, go for it. Go yeah. Man. yeah, go for it. Thank you. <laughs> While I'm talking, he's like, uh, "Sure, go right in." Uh, <laughs> I was, I'm sorry for interrupting you, Sure, Would you like to interrupt a <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. I do. 
I was going to say when Covered. I initially <laughs> talked about uh thought about the topic I was thinking what if Alfred was raised by someone who was more like nurturing was you mean more Bruce like, was raised by someone more nurturing Yes yes I'm sorry Let's I keep mixing deep. it up <laughs> yeah. yeah like someone more nurturing someone like a psychologist who, Yeah like <laughs> someone who taught him to you know embrace the pain and then you know move on like and if Bruce, was like a ma- yeah, ma- ma- yeah. Ha- 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 was like a motherly figure. He would never have become, he would never become Batman. He would have become a healthy person. Yes, he would have become but, a happy look, life. Let's acknowledge that Bruce Wayne has problems, okay? He channels them in the best way possible. Yeah, by making a Justice League and saving the but, world. But, yeah, he needs his anger. Yeah, he Bruce needs Wayne, it. without his anger, without his desire for revenge, yeah. is, a, is a well-adjusted person who does not dress up and hockey pads at night and beat up criminals. He doesn't dress up as hockey pads. He's, he's got better, better than hockey pads. Yes, he better has. Lucius. Oh, oh, okay. Here's a good one. Yeah. Alfred is an enabler. Okay. He lets Bruce make his decisions. He tries to stop him, but he'll pick him up from the airport when he's coming back from Japan or yeah, whatever yeah. mountain he's climbing. Hmm. So Alfred knows that he can't stop Bruce. He knows that Bruce is on this path to heal and that Bruce has to do it on his own way to truly heal. You can't mm. force someone to fit your own box of health. Uh, no, right? no, 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 hold so on. He's a bit of an enabler there. Wait, but you said there that he needs to do this to heal. He's not doing this for healing at all. Actually, that's a quote from the, the cartoon, actually, the Gotham Knight. Yeah. He talks, he says exactly that. He says, this isn't about healing. Yeah. He says, I'm not, not trying, about healing. I'm not yeah. trying to deal with my anger. He says, it's, I need it. So yeah. you're right. I, yeah. I, I, I misspoke there. It's not about healing. <laughs> Fantastic quote. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that was his, that was it's a fantastic quote. Yeah. But someone else who also supports Bruce, but might be a little bit more, how do you say, uh, resistant to mm. letting Bruce almost commit suicide every night is Lucius Fox. Mm. Lucius Fox is the one who builds the armor. He's the the president of Fox Tekka. He's built the Bruce, the, sorry, the Bruce Mobile, the Batmobile, Bruce Mobile, <laughs> Bruce Mobile. the Bat suit. The spelunking suit, everything. He's in the Wayne Tech, like, and they're he both there, they're, they're both so supportive, company. yeah, and probably both so scared, but uh, like they I, know it's good in the long run if because there's no one else. They know he's doing it for Gotham. Yeah, he's not doing it for his own bloodlust, mm. and he's not killing, which is pretty cool. If he was just like Punisher, and he was just getting guns and murdering people in the street, then they might be like, okay. Let's draw the line mm. and turn you in. I don't know. He still breaks a lot of bones, though. Yeah. Which causes trauma. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> and then with this. Yeah, I would be- say Lucius Fox would be the equivalent of Alfred. <laughs> and True. same with Commissioner Gordon. I mean, Commissioner Gordon depends which version you take because sometimes the police are against Batman. Sometimes they're totally got a well, bat He's phone always in the like with. Yeah. <laughs> I. I, yeah, I totally it. have a different take on Alfred and like Bruce's relationship. I feel like anyone can be Alfred. Like it could be like a man, woman, child, or whatever. Mm-hmm. But the, the what makes Batman Batman at the end of the day is the death of his parents. You know, I don't what, think so. That's what like forces. Well, the, yeah, that was the, what, that's the trigger. That's a he be, he became Batman that because night. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I feel of like course. whoever Bruce was Wayne in died his that life, night too. Whoever was in his life, he would just help him achieve that goal in whatever way. They possibly can. Hmm. Ah. So I feel I feel like Alfred is that type of character that's just going to be supportive of what Bruce is does. So that can be that can basically anyone, you know. So you're saying there's no stopping. I don't the think bat. so. Yeah, man, there's no stopping Bruce. I don't, I don't think so. There's no way you can say that because okay. because and I'll and I'll say that right now. Go for it. He, he, even in the comics, he has moments where Alfred can do whatever he could in his powers power to try to help bruce and be there for him or you know phrase sentences differently so it helps him heal but he doesn't do that because alfred himself is not a father he's learning oh. at the same time as well he he doesn't know but how then, to raise a kid so he actually lets him do what he wants because he thinks he's helping him however if it was somebody else mm-hmm. who actually understood the same pain that he was feeling. He would try to help him. He would try to help him, you know, go out, like, do something. But and Bruce's character himself on its way is he, he would probably not receive that help. He probably doesn't want to, he'll probably just make himself distance from that character, right? Whatever the character you're trying to describe. Hmm. 
But at the end of the day, that character's main purpose would be to help Bruce in Wind Driver Way. Right? Is that not? That's what Alfred's character is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? But, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but like my whole topic was that what if that wasn't the character? What if that was... Else. What if uh, Alfred didn't exist? Yeah, like, well... Who's uh, Bruce, Bruce, bro? Bruce I don't Bruce. think so. So let's play a game. Let's substitute Alfred in for different yeah. characters. Okay, mm-hmm. here's, a, here's a very good thing. Okay. okay. Remember the comic Superman Red? Head son. Oh yeah. Well, he landed in Russia yes. instead. He his still ended whole... up being late. Yeah, yeah. What yeah if, what except if his Luther morals were all <laughs> wrong. Yeah. His morals were wrong. What if Batman was raised by someone who actually channeled his anger into killing? Like Ra's al Ghul. Yeah. Or he's raised by I don't know, like, uh, like, uh, like, like, like the Penguin or someone. Okay. Just, just, to, just example you gave right now. Yeah. Superman, Red Son, right? What's, yeah. What's like the What's basically the idea of Superman? Well, Truth Superman justice, isn't, right? but isn't Superman isn't he doing isn't human. that stuff in in that environment that he was raised in? Yes, yes. but so what? It, wouldn't Batman still be the same Batman if he was raised by anyone else? No, he wouldn't like because Batman does not have any superpowers. He had to train for everything. His training, his whole motivation yeah. for training was the anger that wasn't healed. But so, Alfred has nothing to do with that. But he, oh, oh, he, he does. Here's the, here's the question. Here's the premise yeah. that yeah. you're going to have to play along with. If okay. you want to answer the okay. if you, The first question is... Play with me, Sarush. Yeah. Is <laughs> what effect did Alfred have in his upbringing? You're saying none at all. Because you're saying Bruce is Batman the day his parents he died. He was destined no matter to be no. Batman no matter what. So in order, I don't think in so, order no. To There's the so question, many things... That played part in him being Batman. But the biggest one was his parents' death. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He could have healed. So he l- could have l- healed. L- let me build a preface. There's so many yeah. people who whose parents are shot every yeah. day so in front of in, them. In order but to, they don't become Batman because they move on. They heal. But he never healed. He's still to this day. like It's not it, about healing. It, it, in the comics, in, in like Rebirth DC right now, what happened is that uh, I think Dr. Manhattan or someone... He tricked Batman where he had a vision of his dad from Flashpoint telling him that, you know what, don't fight for us, move on, get a life. And that made him really soft. So he couldn't think the same way as Batman because he was trying to heal. Just just think about that. Know. One one of that. Thing. So it's a huge thing. That, that's a great story. The Watchmen mm-hmm. crossover. Yeah, it's whatever. Great. I forget what it's called, but it's amazing. Uh, it's that Countdown token, to Midnight. Right? Yeah, Countdown to it's Midnight. A token yeah. or something. So, in year, let's talk about Batman Year One, which is when Bruce is physically becoming Batman. He's, mm-hmm. he's training as a ninja. He's climbing mountains. Yeah, he's putting on hockey pads at that point. He's putting on a ski mask. Mm-hmm. Where was Alfred in all that? Alfred was helping him. In all that, yeah, what about in the knowledge and no, stuff? Uh, Alfred no, was nowhere around when Bruce was trained to become Batman. No, no, hold Alfred on, hold on, wait, 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 hold on. Yeah, uh, that's not the question here. I'm saying yeah. when he was young. Yeah, Alfred the, could have turned him in. His, yeah, Alfred could have called the cops and be like, "Yo, Gordon, get over here. Bruce is crazy. He's trying to beat up criminals. That's a crime. Come arrest him." Yeah, when he was he young, the first he year, Dude, he, parents. Parents themselves don't have that much influence as kids. No, but they he can dial no the kids turn out They can dial nine one one. He had yeah, no can. friends. Listen. Well, you okay, had let me, nothing. Let me Your parents never called the cops on you before. Let me finish talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. parents, like whatever a child grows up to be, parents do have influence. But that child was always destined to be that person, whether that be good or bad. You know, you can have amazing parents, but you can you have a corrupt child. We've seen that multiple times in mm-hmm. life. You know, so you I mean? think parents have no effect? They do. On the they outcome? do. I didn't say that at all. But you said, I but didn't they're say destined. That at all. But they're destined. But to they're be destined they to anyway. be the person that they want to be, right? Regardless of their parenting. I don't think so. I okay, you're probably like twisting my words right now. I said <laughs> you're making him out to be such a bad person. I right know now. You say, exactly. You say, like what? The, what's up well, with that? Because you said okay, I'm saying say it again, say parents it again. do have influence <laughs> on a child or whatever. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that child is gonna turn out to be that person you want. He wants to be. You know what I mean? You can you, you can have so, you can have good influence on you know children at all. But sometimes children turn out to be brats and stuff like that. You know that's that's life at the end of the day. No, wait, I'm gonna disagree with okay. that. We're going to the, nature versus the, the, nurture. Yes, yes, exactly. Because the thing is, when you're born, there is certain number of events and people that influence your life that make you be the person at the end. Like your decisions are based on you know how your parents. 
his due, mm-hmm. your uh, your friends group, the peers you hang out with, and the environment you are uh, growing up in. B- Batman, if mm-hmm. you think about it, he he had no parents. Okay, yeah. his parents were shot. Okay, like the Voldemort. environment he grew up in was a corrupt Gotham where his parents were shot. And the only person raising him, he had no friends. He just had Alfred, who had a big impact on his life. Yeah, who but his, si- his his thing from day one was to to like to change Gotham, to to heal it, yes. to protect it. Right? Yes, but and that was never going to change. Yes, yeah. but, but how he went about it could have been different. Yes, like exactly. Thomas That's Wayne, could, yeah, Thomas yeah, Wayne yeah, could have been. Uh, but at I, the end of the day, he still would have been Batman. He still would have done all these no, things. No, he could have been something that his. But, Dad like wanted Thomas him Wayne to be. built trains. Wait, 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 he was wait, wait. a doctor. Wait, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like mm-hmm. he could have been raised to do this, like improve Gotham as a businessman. You know, but see, that's what what was Batman doing? He's saving Gotham. What is Bruce gonna do in this scenario that you's gonna what that you just created up? He's gonna save Gotham as a businessman, as a bad. But yeah, but, but your argument, day, was, your argument was your argument that I thought was that yeah. he's going to become Batman regardless. I'm saying what maybe I said, what he's I said not was gonna... the idea of Batman. Okay, to okay, save sure, people, sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. To justice, to cause so, ideas. To, okay, okay, sure, sure. Even All if those his... ideals will be the same, no matter what person that's that's gonna raise him. Yeah. So, so was if Thomas you're Wayne that... was Thomas Wayne before death? Of course, was Thomas Wayne as much of a Batman as Bruce? Oh yeah. Oh, that's a that's a that's yeah. excellent. True, that's an excellent true, way to put yeah, it, bro. Yeah. Okay. I agree with that. I agree with that. He was the Batman of the day then, right? Oh, dude. There's a the comic White book Knight. called... Uh, there you go. What you just said right now. The White Knight. Quote Harvey that, Dent. Quote that. So, uh, what's it called? The it's, White it's called Bruce Wayne, Rest in Peace. And it's Batman gets sent back in time. Yeah. And you get to see Bruce Wayne trying to like climb back to the modern day through mm. time. And as he goes through time, like each issue is a different time period. And they get very prehistoric. He's like a caveman and there's bats. And then you go to the 1800s and the Waynes have... Uh, underground railroad and you see the history of the waynes always being so socially active seeking justice helping the oppressed yeah and it's like the history of the waynes and the history of the bad cave as well so it's almost like you said that it was the, the waynes i guess, destiny I guess to that's what that's what i look and i guess that's what you guys look at it as mm. too is like the ideas of what these characters represent yeah. you know what i so mean so the same essence, yeah yeah, yeah exactly. of course, at, of course. At, at, a different form my, like 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 my whole question was based on his emotions because his hatred was uh diverted towards like him training and, and fighting in a costume but yeah i'm saying if the conditions were different how do you imagine his thing would actually be however he probably what if would he have was... been like a like an angry or fighting vigilante but he'll, he'll be he'll be someone that wants to do good in the world yeah, the I, the day. unless he was basically raised, anyone but, can be Batman. That's what we're trying no. to say at the end of the day. If you want to be Batman, go yeah. ahead. Dude. I mean, Batman. <laughs> unless he was raised by I don't know, like he, uh, penguin or racial ghoul, yeah. then he would be Very, a killer. Yeah. He could have been Punisher. Then he could, but like, yes, his, his yes, hate, exactly. His hatred for guns is what differentiates him from Punisher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just maybe wrap it up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. An idea of all the children that Bruce himself raised. I'm talking Jason Todd, Dick Grayson. He didn't raise Tim them. Tim Drake. Like, he formed their childhoods. He, he didn't raise them from infancy. Uh, he, like, Wayne. that's also... And, like... Barbara like, Gordon, there's it, six. It's true. Like, it's true. Like, it, it's actually, like, very good that he did that for, like, entertainment pur- <laughs> purposes <laughs> and all that stuff. However, at the same time, it was pretty, like, messed up what he did. If you think about he it, only, he raised them the only way he knew how. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, in, yeah, in a cave exactly. Yeah, with exactly. weights and ninja stars exactly. and masks. They could have <laughs> died, and that death he put would have fueled his risk. anger. Oh, here's a great one. Sure. Like in terms of conflict between Alfred and Bruce, because Alfred is sort of like the angel, like, hey, man, maybe don't go out tonight. You're bleeding. Yeah. But Bruce said, no, Gotham must be saved. And he just keeps going. Hmm. He gets shy, he gets up, he keeps going. Alfred's role is usually like, hey, man, take a day off. Let hmm. me patch you up. So he's always trying to at least hold Bruce back a little bit to take mm. a day off. Not stop, but just rest. Actually, Alfred quit in The Dark Knight. Remember? He's like, yo, yeah, yeah, did you yeah. go out today? I'm handing him a resignation. Yeah. And uh, Bruce wakes up and like, hey, Alfred. And, you know, but it was funny. <laughs> so you, you see that balance there. When Jason Todd died mm. in The Death of the Family, fantastic mm. comic book, 
when Jason Todd died, Alfred, I mean, Bruce also was shattered because he's like, oh, I'm responsible mm. for this teenager now and I mm. let him die. And there's great tension there. Like Alfred is always leaving Bruce in the comics mm. because Bruce is always crossing the line. Bruce lives across the line. So it's like every single Robin, every single it's like a Barbara Gordon that gets shot. Every uh, time someone gets hurt it. in the Bat family, yeah. Alfred's like, "Are you? why are you doing this? You know? Mm. So it only adds to the, the tension between them. Mm. So I think it's harder for Alfred to support Bruce once he got him down that road. Mm. But Alfred was great at the start. He said, all right. He kind of like, because in a few comics, he kind of like blames himself as well for a lot of the decisions that Bruce Wayne takes. It's because he, he's always like, you know what? It could have been different if yeah. I would have done something in the past. Guys, leave us in the comments what you think would happened. And uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the episodes. What's going on here? What do you yeah, doing? Man. I'm doing pointing at the comments, bro. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, 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 okay. And let us know who you would want to raise Bruce. What, yeah. if, he, what if he grew up on Themyscira or on Atlantis? Batwoman. Wonder Bat. <laughs> Wonder Bat. That's a great one. Bat Metal. <laughs> There's one of your Guys, thank you so much for listening. We'll see you in the next part. Take care. Okay.